Every farmer takes great pride in producing the best quality crop from his land. Happiness equals a high yield at harvest time. But unfortunately, all crops are threatened by diseases that can reduce yield and grain quality, such as yellow rust and septoria. Both these diseases can develop very quickly when conditions are favorable and damage the crop. This is the classic disease triangle, a susceptible host, a virulent pathogen. In a favorable environment, the prerequisites for an epidemic. Diseases like rust and septoria threaten wheat crops worldwide. When you see an entire field of wheat destroyed by yellow rust, you understand just how important fungicides are. And as the global population grows, we will need all the food we can produce. The rust fungus replicates by producing vast quantities of spores, which can be carried by the wind over great distances. And if you start to see signs of the disease in the crop, it is already too late, as we shall see. The method the spores use to penetrate the leaf is complex and quite extraordinary. When a rust spore lands on a healthy plant, it first attaches itself securely to the leaf surface with a mucus-like substance called adhesins. Once secure, it sends out a germ tube which searches along the leaf surface to find a point of entry. A filament forms at right angles to the surface cells, penetrating the leaf via the stomata, the breathing pores of the leaf, and once inside, it searches for the sugar-carrying plant cells. A peg grows into the plant cells to rob the plant of its sugars and transport that energy source to nourish the newly developed fungus, which continues to grow until new spores are released. So where you had one spore, you now have millions. These are again distributed through the air to spread the infection to other leaves and to nearby plants. This life cycle of the rust fungus takes from 7 to 14 days, and with millions of spores being produced each time, the disease can multiply very rapidly and soon take hold. Robbed of its energy, the leaf produces distinctive striped legions, typical of yellow rust infestation. The grain shrivels, so yields can be reduced dramatically. With each cycle, the destructive cloud of spores is spread by the wind, eventually covering large areas, destroying crops and reducing yields. But wheat crops are not only threatened by rust, there are other fungal foes to contend with, such as septoria leaf blotch. This enemy is also spread by infectious spores, but in a different way. This time the spores are spread from leaf to leaf by rain splash. They again stick to the leaf surface, germinate and explore until they find a breathing pore. It grows by stealth between the cells inside the leaf and once it has a firm foothold, starts to kill the cells. The contents of the cells leak out and are then taken up by the fungus to power the production of more spores. This effectively kills the leaf, stopping photosynthesis, producing less sugars to swell the developing grain. So how can the farmer fight back? Well, with fungicides, obviously, but timing is key. To fully protect the developing crop, we'll take several fungicide sprays. An early season spray, to prevent an epidemic developing. The next spray is to protect the upper leaves. And the final spray to protect the emerging ear and to protect grain quality. The first and most traditional type is a contact fungicide. This covers the surface of the leaf and prevents the fungal spores from germinating and penetrating the plant. Provided the crop has been sprayed before the spores arrive, it will be protected and will prevent the spore from penetrating the leaf. However, contact fungicides provide no protection against spores 
that have already adhered and penetrated the plant. The second category of fungicide is translamina, meaning across the leaf. These penetrate into the plant tissue and so can reach fungal infection that has already taken place. The third category of fungicide is systemic. This is also translamina, penetrating the plant tissue, but once inside, moves throughout the plant, controlling the disease. So there are a range of fungicides that can help you protect your crops and increase your yields. But they need to be used correctly. Think about the disease you are trying to prevent. Use the appropriate fungicide and get the timing right. This video was produced for BASF in collaboration with the National Institute of Agricultural Botany, NIAB, and Rothamsted Research.